Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the dark underbelly of Google Ads, uh, which is click fraud or what Google calls invalid activity. Uh, the way they define invalid activity is any interaction that doesn't come from real people with real interest in your ad. And the problem here is that invalid activity depletes your budget. And when your budget is depleted, you know, you can't get good clicks. So it's obviously a problem. It's probably not as big of a problem as a lot of people fear. A lot of my clients ask me about it and I really think one of the ways you deal with invalid activity is just to know that it exists and know that it's usually going to be a small percentage of your traffic. So I have 60 or so clients right now who are getting good results from their Google Ads uh, traffic regardless of invalid activity. So my guess is that it's usually 1% or less, but if you could eliminate that 1% or for people where it's more like 4 or 5%, you definitely want to deal with it. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the ways that Google deals with it and some tools you can use to deal with uh, click fraud and invalid activity. So if invalid activity or click fraud is a concern of yours, I would recommend uh, searching for this page. Just search uh, traffic quality Google ads in Google. You'll probably find this site. They have a lot of good information in here about how uh, Google uses its automated methods to block uh, invalid activity and you'll see they list automated detection manual reviews and advanced research that they have in place to block invalid activity so you can check your own account and actually go into billing and then click on transactions scroll through your billing transactions and you may see a line like this called invalid activity you can see here they blocked uh, or refunded 18 cents um, worth of clicks now this is these are actual clicks that got refunded so they probably are blocking ads or blocking clicks that never happen um, or blocking IP addresses that are no good so even though this is a tiny percentage 18 cents out of you know three hundred dollars that was spent this month that's a small percentage but they're probably blocking more than that I would say probably a few percentage points of um, or you know two or three percent maybe of invalid activity here's one more account I'll show you real quick and we'll just see if they have any invalid activity that was blocked. So again, you go into transactions and they have just a few hundred dollars in spend. Here's about $500 this month and $8 in invalid activity was refunded. So that's less than 2%, but again, they probably blocked more proactively that never resulted in a charge. So it's important to know that Google is doing some blocking um, of invalid activity, but you may not want to rely on them solely for blocking click fraud and invalid activity. Uh, you can click on this page what you can do, um, and they have some pretty good information. You probably want to click on resources for advertisers. And they talk about how to understand your traffic by looking at your web server logs. You can review you know, your Google Analytics traffic just to see if any um, traffic stands out as fraud and this gets pretty technical but if you're into this uh, type of techie you know statistics and tracking this information may help you and then ultimately you can request an invalid traffic investigation and Google will look into it and they might refund you money based on whether or not they think the um, click activity was invalid and another thing I'll mention in terms of blocking invalid activity or click fraud is just to have properly managed campaigns that are organized and set up correctly. If you have issues in your campaign settings, bid strategies, keywords, it's just going to invite more invalid activity because you're probably going to be showing for things you shouldn't show for, maybe in locations you don't want to be showing. So it is important just to keep make sure your um, campaigns in your account is well maintained and then having someone manage it uh, will also allow um, click fraud or invalid activity to maybe be identified uh, a little bit easier rather than you you know looking for it yourself so as with most things online there is a tool that can pretty much do all of this for you or most of it and kind of keep you from needing to worry about it and there's a few of these but uh, one tool that i use and like is called clicksees i believe they're probably one of the most popular click fraud prevention platforms you can find them at clickcease.com. 
real quick I'll just take a look at pricing for you it looks like it starts off at $50 a month right now for a single domain and up to 5,000 clicks so that's probably gonna cover the majority of advertisers but they have $75 a month plan for unlimited domains and up to 10,000 clicks so I've actually been using their platform uh, for several months and several clients as you can see here so I can give you kind of a sneak peek at how it works and uh, you can kind of decide for yourself if you think it might be worth trying on your own account. So this is an overview of the account where I'm using ClickSees to block uh, invalid activity in um, Google Ads. Uh, so I will show you the, some of the details and the settings of how it works, but if we just look through here, we can get an idea of how much invalid activity uh, ClickSees is blocking in these accounts. So if we just scroll through here, you can see there's a range of maybe 4% to looks like 16% cleaner traffic. So that means they're, they're blocking that much invalid activity. So where Google was refunding, you know, less than 2%, sometimes less than 1% invalid activity and, and probably blocking more than that. Uh, ClickSees is blocking an additional uh, up to 15, 16%. And all with all the accounts, this is a new one actually. It's only at four percent, but it'll probably be higher uh, soon. And actually, I think we're only running on the home page of this site. So yeah, it's going to be probably ten to fifteen percent average. You can see some of these accounts where uh, they're higher spend. We we've saved three hundred dollars in a month, six hundred dollars on this account, eight hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. So well worth it if you can get an account for fifty dollars with ClickSees and save 300 plus, um, it's obviously well worth it. And not only that, but it's gonna allow your budget to flow to the higher quality traffic, which is gonna result in leads and sales uh, as a result of your advertising. So you could do the math, but for a lot of people, if you're spending 500 or $1,000 a month on your ad spend in Google Ads, ClickSees is probably gonna be a no-brainer for you. Uh, once it gets lower than that, you know it might not be worth it. But um, definitely take a look at it if you're spending 500 or more. So I'm going to click on one of these accounts so you can see the stats they show you. Uh, they're showing ad clicks, blocked IP addresses, and that's really how um, ClickSees works is it's blocking IP addresses in your account. So basically when you set up an account, you add code to your website and you link up to your Google Ads account. And if we look in this particular account, we can go into the change history for the last, well, we're at, we're at 60 days here in this account, but um, once this loads, so to actually see it working, we can go into the change history for this account and you'll see negative IP blocks. So it's actually identifying invalid activity and then it's blocking those IP addresses so that they cannot see your ad or will not see your ad again, at least not on that IP address. So here's this one account, 8% cleaner traffic, $300 saved. And we can dig into the stats more. Uh, they show fra fraud type um, clicks over the threshold. So that would mean too many clicks, uh, fraudulent devices, uh, people using VPNs, which are often used for fraud. Uh, traffic bounces, people just not even visiting the site or leaving too quick. It can also block people out of your out of the geographic area that you're targeting. And you know you could do that in Google Ads, but some slip through the cracks and ClickSees will find those. And then here it's just identifying my fraudulent campaigns. Um, so I can just visually see which ones are producing the most fraud. In this case, this is just the highest volume campaign here. But one of the most important things I'll show you here is in the domain settings, we can see the detection rules. This is really the kind of the brains behind ClickSees and, and how it works, um, or at least the settings for the brain. I mean, they don't show you everything that they're doing behind the scenes, but um, here's the threshold for click fraud. So you can change this and they'll suggest rules based on your stats. But here you can see this account is allowing up to four clicks within seven days, up to six clicks within 30 days, and up to three clicks within 10 minutes. So anything over this threshold, it'll automatically block that IP address. And you might see these and think that uh, you know this could be valid activity. And it's true, some valid activity could potentially be blocked uh, by ClickSees. But the way I like to look at it is it's, it's all gonna be low quality. I mean, if you're getting four clicks 
within seven days or three within 10 minutes. That's expensive and um, they, it does statistically tend to be lower quality. So it's gonna automatically block that. And you could of course change this if you have, or if you believe that you know you six clicks in 10 minutes is good quality for you, then you could change this to six, of course. So they also can detect IPs based on the device. So these are device IDs, which are different from IP addresses. Uh, you can click on the little video icon here to, to watch and learn about each of these different uh, controls. So here's what I mentioned about blocking IPs by country. And you can also turn each of these uh, controls off if you wanted to. Uh, they also block uh, JavaScript disabled browsers. So this would be a signal for a bot. So most times bots would not be using a JavaScript enabled browser. So this is a great way to identify bots and, and non-humans who are visiting or clicking on your ads for some reason. So this is a good thing to have turned on. Uh, VPNs, a lot of people use VPNs, but a high percentage of invalid activity actually use VPNs. So it makes sense just to block all VPNs. This tool will, this feature will um, block based on behavior and it's just minimum seconds on the site. So if someone's only on your site for seven, for three seconds, in this case, it'll block them. So that's just kind of a low quality threshold. And then here you can just turn on monitoring only mode so it can monitor your traffic but not block anything. So that might be used just for testing, for example. So those really are the most important uh, parts of Clixis. Um, just in my experience using it for the past uh, three or four months. There are a lot of other features in here. There's a few other tools for tracking conversions. There's an ad spy tool that I have not used yet. Uh, fraud analytics is kind of interesting. If you click on Google ads, you get a, get a bunch of stats. So you can see the example in this account, an actual report of um, traffic that was blocked by IP address. I can click through here to see countries, keywords, and look at the fraud based on campaigns. So it's just a more detailed uh, view of what's going on in the account. And this is interesting here and kind of gets into the number of clicks discussion we were having with 90% of uh, your traffic being one click, 8% being two clicks, and then it gets down below 1% uh, for three clicks. So every account based on campaigns, industry, and your location is going to be at a different level of risk for click fraud. Um, so this is probably something you'll want to test for yourself. But after using it for three or four months on you know 10 or so accounts, uh, I've seen positive results. Uh, my clients like to see uh, these dollar amounts that have been saved. And you can the only place you can really see it at work, again, is seeing the IP address being blocked. We can, again, see the stats, um, like the fraud analytics. But beyond that, we can just kind of observe that the traffic appears to be doing better conversion rates you know going up and you're, they're not going to double or triple based on this because we're really only getting you know 10 to 15 percent cleaner traffic but for 50 bucks a month if you're spending you know five thousand dollars a month um, this is going to save you a few hundred dollars a month so it makes a lot of sense and again it's going to allow your budget to flow to the higher quality traffic so if you're using google ads definitely consider invalid activity and click fraud in your account and check out click cease uh, and see if it might be a good fit for you. Just test it out for a few months and uh, see how it works. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful and good luck with your Google Ads campaigns.